With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, everyone. So here we have a question. Use graph paper for this equation. Take two centimeter as one unit. The both axes. Okay. Draw the graph of x plus y plus three is equals to zero, and three x minus two y plus four is equals to zero. Plot only three points per line. Okay. So here I already took the axes. So I'm going to solve this question here. So basically, it is my first equation is x plus y plus three is equals to zero. I'm going to take only three points as the question said. So I'm going to make a simple table here to put the points. Okay. And let's suppose this is my simple table. I'm going to put here x and here y, and uh, here are my points. Okay. Now, moving further, I'm going to solve by taking some points. Let's suppose if if I take x is equals to zero. Here I'm putting x is equals to zero. So x is equals to zero in this equation. So it will become zero plus y plus three is equals to zero, and my y will be equals to minus three. So I can write here minus three. Now I'm going to put my y is equals to zero here. So on putting y is equals to zero in the equation, so it will be x plus zero plus three is equals to zero. From here I can say that my x is minus three. I'm writing here it is minus three. Okay. Now further I'm going to put let's suppose my x is equals to minus one. Okay. On putting x is equals to minus one. My equation will become minus one plus y plus three is equals to zero. From here, I can say that my y plus two is equals to zero. From here, my y will be equals to minus two. Okay, so here I am writing minus one, and on minus one, it will be minus two. I am going to make the graph of this thing. So basically, we have to take two units as two centimeters as one unit. So I am assuming that this is my one centimeter and this is my two centimeter. So it it is my one, it is my two. It is three, and it is four. Okay. Similarly, here it is minus one, it is minus two, it is minus three, and it is minus four. Okay. Now I'm going to put the points here. So it is zero comma minus three. So it is my simply x-axis, and you all know that this is my y-axis. And I'm going to take here also the points. So it will be like that in the negative axis also. So it will be like that. Okay. So this is my minus three, this is my minus two, this is minus one, this is zero, and this is my one, this is my two. Okay. Now from here you can see that my first point is zero comma minus three. So it will be zero comma minus three means something like here. Let me draw here. So this is my zero comma minus three. Okay. Second is minus three comma zero. So it is my minus three comma zero. Okay. And next is minus one comma minus two. It is minus one comma minus two means here. Okay, so I'm going to join them, and I will make a line from here. Okay, so this is the line for my x plus. I'm writing here y plus three is equals to zero. Now in the similar manner, I'm going to check for the second equation. So the second equation is three x minus two y plus four. I'm writing here three x minus two y plus four is equals to zero. Okay, and here also I'm going to take the uh, one table so that I can take the values of x and y. Okay, I'm going to take three values as per the question said. Okay, x y. I'm putting zero in place of x, so I'm putting x is equals to zero here. It will be three times zero minus two y plus four is equals to zero. From here, I can say that my minus two y plus four is equals to zero. From here, my two y is equals to four, and my y will be equals to two. Okay, so I'm putting here my two. Now I'm going to put my y is equals to zero. Okay, so I'm doing here. It is y is equals to zero. I'm putting y equals to zero here, so it will be three x minus two into zero. Plus four is equals to zero. From here, I can say that my two x, sorry, three x plus four is equals to zero, and my x is equals to minus four by three. Okay. Now next, I'm going to take 
let's suppose my x is equals to minus one. So I'm putting minus one here. So it will be three into minus one minus two y plus four is equals to zero. From here you can clearly find the value of y. Here we have minus three and here we have plus four. So it will be simply plus one is equals to zero. From here I can say that my y will be equals to one over two. Okay. So I'm writing here it is my one over two on putting minus one. And on putting this zero I will get minus of as I found four by three. Okay. And here on putting my x is equals to minus one, I will got this value one by two. So I'm putting here one by two. Okay. Now I'm going to place these points on the graph. So it is my graph. You can see here, zero comma two is the first point. So zero comma two is the first point. Now minus four by three comma zero is my second point. So minus four by three means one point something. It is something over here, comma zero. Okay, and the next is minus one comma my one by two. Okay, so minus one is here, and one by two is something over here. Okay, so this is the point. Okay, so these are the required points. I'm going to join them. Okay, so it will be look like something this. Okay, so this is the line of the required point. Now moving further, I can say that this is the correct graph for the particular given equations, and this is the graph for equation 3x minus 2y plus 4 is equals to zero, and these graphs are made up by only three points. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.